This is great news for Neo and for sales going forward. However, it is a sad story. It is a sad, unfortunate news. This company, this thing just collapsed and it's going to really help out Neo, but it's hurting everybody. It is none other than the biggest dealership company here in China, China Grand Auto. They have over 300 dealerships across China with various different brands from BMW to Volvo to Mercedes to even other luxury brands like Land Rover, Jaguar, etc. And these have all collapsed. The company has collapsed. The forest dealerships have collapsed. It is discovered that they had over 70 billion RMB in debt. All right, money owed. And what has happened is that customers go and buy a Volvo and they pay the money, but they can't get the car. They simply can't get the car. Have a listen to this. On June 28th, did I take out a 300,000 yuan loan to buy a car? I was supposed to get the car within half a month, but by July 15th, the car still hadn't been delivered. The license plate expires on August 18th. What was their final explanation to you? Why can't I get the certificate? They keep saying the dealership has no money I paid in full for this car on June 30th. They came once on August 14th, asking us to take the car away. We didn't take it. We've been waiting four months for the car. And we haven't even seen it. We paid 30,000 yuan. Don't know when we'll get the deposit back. After we transferred the money to our company account, the group handled it uniformly. What group? Guanghui Automobile. They now owe a total of 366. That is just so damn sad. You buy a brand new car. You pay the 4S dealership the money required. You're supposed to get a brand new Volvo XC60 or something like that. And you're just never getting the car and the money it's gone it's not on the dealership's hand it's being transferred to the hq company our right, grand china grand auto so your money's nowhere to be seen all right they they're using it to pay debts and then the car that they're that you're supposed to get is also going to be confiscated by the bank and auctioned off to pay off the loans so I mean, like these customers are absolutely screwed, and you know, Volvo is a is a very big brand, right? And it's not Volvo's fault. Make it clear, all right? It's the dealership's fault. It's the dealership method that's at fault. And these guys, they just it, there's nothing that they can do, all right? It's basically you consider that as a donation. You donated your life savings to the company that is now bankrupt, and you're just uh, donating the money. Thank you for your donation. Like, how crazy is that? And let's be clear, this dealership group, all right, 300 plus dealerships across China, they don't just sell Volvos. They also have BMW dealerships, Mercedes dealerships, etc. So you also got customers buying BMWs and Mercedes that they pay money and can't get their car because of this problem, because of this China Grand Auto group. And before you feel bad for the customer, I mean, you should feel bad for the customer. Also remember, like a lot of these sales reps that work there at the dealerships, they also haven't been paid in months. They're owed salary and they're probably never going to be paid that salary as well. So they're doing their job, not getting paid. And then they have to, you know, try to resolve a pissed off customer and, and, and take take the shit from the customer. So, I mean, yeah feel bad for them as well but what this has ultimately caused all right and and let's make it very clear uh, china grand auto isn't the first forest auto show uh, auto group dealership group to go belly up all right in fact there have been over eight thousand dealership stores that have closed down in the past four years here in china so grand china auto is certainly the biggest all right, it is the biggest. It is the number one biggest dealership company, but they will not be the last. All right, make that very clear. They will not be the last. But what this all means is that this exacerbates the mistrust towards 4S dealership stores. And that's really going to help out the trust towards direct to consumer. So, new energy vehicles in particular are mostly sold direct to consumer like neo and and even uh, the auto byd some some byd stores are direct to sales this is going to help out the new energy vehicle companies in general and let's not forget like dealerships 
mostly they don't have a, a good reputation due to like hidden fees and, and price differences between dealerships they might try to be ripping you off or try to scam you out of some money here and there so they don't really have the best reputation out there um, and not really trustworthy whereas direct to direct to consumer is a lot more favorable and also you know the brands affected by this are all luxury brands all luxury brands volvo mercedes bmw land rover jaguar what are they going to think what are they going to think uh, when they are considering buying one of these cars in the future consumers they're going to be a little bit you know second guessing themselves uh, is this dealership trustworthy am i being scammed out uh, is the same thing going to happen am i going to buy this car and pay the money and the car's gone uh, money's gone i don't have anything else my my money going to basically as a donation to these big auto companies who are basically going bankrupt and and i worked so hard for the money over the years my salary over the years and it's going to towards this donation because i'm buying this car screw that let me let me not buy that bmw or, or mercedes from that dealership i don't trust that dealership that dealership might go under uh let me uh let me go and buy that neo and guys it's not just these big dealership companies all right even small private dealerships for example this is the boss of a smaller private forest dealership in china and he basically bailed and just ran ran off of the money because he well he's owed a shit ton of money and he can't pay off the debts and he's mortgaged his house twice and he's basically uh, you know <laughs> took out a loan on his car and he there's nothing left to do and you can pause that if you want to see more about that even private dealerships are going belly up and so so it's just dealerships in general are kind of untrustworthy here in china all right so this is definitely going to help out neo's sales especially with this big with with how big this of a scale this is because before we've had like smaller dealerships go belly up um, in the in the southern part of china and that has really you know caused like something like maybe 40 50 car owners uh, cu customers that have placed down money for the car and the money's gone car is gone confiscated by the bank to be auctioned off and they're just basically left with nothing the money is donation and this i mean 300 plus forest stores that's probably gonna affect like thousands and thousands of customers that have paid their money and will never get their car which is just so damn unfortunate it is one of the biggest collapses here in china but this is definitely very beneficial for neo and hopefully neo will capitalize on this